Be careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See, si, her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sempre come una donna per me. Everything all right? Better than all right. You're making amazing progress. Amazing's quite a strong word. Then why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the Animus can have, uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities, you know. So, what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. We have safeguards, Desmond. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. What could 16 have found that needs so much secrecy and security? Well, I don't know, do I? Lucy thinks it's something about the Codex, but I'm not so sure. I'm all ears if it's as life-changing as Sixteen says. Blimey, if I was allowed to use the Animus, I'd be the one in there finding out. Instead, as usual, I'm forced to sit here on the sidelines. <laughs> 